Good morning. My name is Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. Please excuse if I sound a little stuffed up. I was sick this past week. I'm finally starting to feel like a human today. And I decided, let me go ahead and start vlogging. I'm calling it this year, like I'm calling the vlogs like season seven. I've been doing YouTube for seven years now, which feels crazy to say. Um, but I just kind of want to do something a little different. So that's what I'm doing with these vlogs. Now, y'all know YouTube is kind of doing whatever it wants. So if the algorithm is being weird anyway, I figure why not just put out what I like and what Oh, hi, son. And what is feeling good to me. So, yeah, I think like every other week I'm putting out um, an episode of the vlogs. And I think that'll make it easier for me to just be more consistent and not feel like I have to rush to get like a weekly vlog done or anything like that. So every other week I'll be putting out a vlog. So welcome to week one. Happy New Year. It's 2024. I am getting ready to go to the gym today. My first lift of the year. Um, if you follow me on Instagram at Malibu Darby, you might have already heard or seen this, but I shaved my head. I need to bleach it to go back to my regular blonde, um, but I shaved my head. I did not have a mental breakdown. It was not like a Britney moment, even though the older I get, the more I understand exactly why Britney shaved her head. But I actually have a few reasons, which maybe I'll talk about later. I have a few reasons why I shaved my head, but I kind of love it. Um, it looks like I'm going gray right now because it's like blonde and black, which is why I need to go ahead and bleach it. I'm just giving my scalp a little moment to breathe. But yeah, I'm getting a facial this week. I'm going to my family's annual cabin trip. I just have some other little stuff planned. So it's Sunday. So like I said, I just want to get my workout in, meal prep and kind of clean. My house is in shambles because I have been sick, like I said. So I need to just get my life together today. And I'm going to start getting it together with the vlog. So first things first, welcome. So update. I finally got to leave my house today and I drove up to the gym on the only day that they are not open. So instead I just did a little haul and did some shopping at the nearby stores that I needed anyway. So I went into Five Below because I don't know. I wanted to get my niece some Valentine's Day stuff. They're normally really good for holidays, but I could tell they were still setting up. But I did get this bento box that I actually really needed. Um, it has, let me see if you can see, there we go. So it has three compartments and the fork and the spoon included and attached with it. This week I'm on the go, as always, but I'm on the go like to the point where I don't think I'll be able to do necessarily like refrigerated or have time to microwave or that kind of thing. So I wanna do more like snack boxes, like adult Lunchables, like see how convenient that is that the fork and the spoon are in this little top part here. So I wanted to get something like this. I have a salad one, but I wanted to get something like this so I can do um, fruits and berries and then like some hummus and crackers on this side. Very, very like snack box. It's cold this week, which um, I'm always like, okay, good. That's the, you can leave your food in the car weather. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. So I did get that for Five Below. I went to Trader Joe's. Honestly, I went to Trader Joe's just because for the vibes, but I got ginger brew and sparkling apple cider. I am doing dry January, and I think I want to do a mocktail. My friend comes over Wednesday, so I'm going to try to do something with those. What else did I get from there? They, I'm the market for Trader Joe's. I don't know why I got these candy pecans when I was standing at the counter. Um, on the way out, but I got some candy, pecans, pecans, whatever you, however you like to say it. Um, I also got these meatless breakfast sausage patties. I've never tried them from Trader Joe's before, so I wanted to try them. I obviously have like Morningstar and stuff in here, but I like to try different brands. Price-wise, the price is pretty good for them, so I just wanted to see. So I'm trying to figure out my exact favorite 
when I'm going, I got those specifically because when I go to the cabin with my family, everybody else eats beef and pork. So I wanted to make sure I had some breakfast sausage for myself. So I'm not even gonna open those until I get there. Got some tahini. This is organic tahini. I'll be honest, there is a restaurant here that makes my favorite kind of like vegan wrap or vegetarian wrap. It's all raw vegetables. And what I get on it is tahini and feta and it's delicious. And I want to figure out how to make it myself. So I'm going to have to learn. I am, it doesn't smell like anything. I'm not familiar with tahini outside of literally that wrap. Um, I do know it's like, I think it's just ground sesame seeds. Yeah, similar to like a hummus. It doesn't smell like anything, but also my nose is stuffy. I do not like that. I am going to research how to make this taste like something or how to use it on my wrap and make it taste good. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that at all. Oh no. It was like $3, which is really why I got it. So I was like, okay, cool. Maybe I can learn something new. Worst case scenario, I wasted $3. That tasted like a weird peanut butter. Anywho. I got the Trader Joe's onion salt. Um, I like garlic salt, but the girls are saying the onion salt is really good. The Trader Joe's world and the community can make you buy some things and I am no stranger to that. So I'm assuming that it tastes, I don't know, similar to the garlic salt. Smells good. I have so many seasonings, so. Tastes good. Yeah, I'm always buying a ton of seasoning, so. Nothing crazy there. I actually might use it for lunch. Then I got some tzatziki dip. This is creamy garlic cucumber dip from them. I've been in a Mediterranean mood lately. Again, you got food at home, so I bought this so I could do it with like some salmon and some rice and some cucumbers or something for a little meal instead of ordering out. And then for today, because um, I'm just feeling cozy, I'm in the house the rest of the day, I wanna get something I could just eat all day. Um, I got this French style flatbread and it is just mushrooms and a blended cheeses. So I'm probably gonna put this directly into my air fryer and go from there. If it fits in the air fryer, it goes in the air fryer. That's basically how life works. Aldi, I got a lot of stuff. Tons of fresh fruit. I got pears. Shout out to pears. I got grapes. We got apples. Again, all things that I'm thinking of like chopping up and putting into my little bento boxes. Lemons, I am going to boil and steam to open up the sinuses even more. Um, I got these seagulls that'll be perfect for the boxes. I can like, I can always package my own little sauces, but things like this, these are hummus singles. These are perfect. Um, I have eaten so much cottage cheese. I've been doing a lot of fruit and cottage cheese, so had to read up on that. My sister is also dry right now, so I got a bunch of these sparkling, um, like little champagnes for us. So when our family is drinking during the weekend, we can feel like we have some little beverages too. So those, and then I got a bunch of these. They had them on sale actually. I got a bunch of these shots, like ginger, turmeric, elderberry. So that's what it's giving right now. I'm gonna put this stuff up real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna multitask. So, like I said, I cut my hair, cleaning my grapes. I cut my hair on Friday, I think it was Friday. I was growing it out, when I say growing it out, I mean like, I just wasn't going to style it or do it for January because I'm kind of like, not hibernating, but kind of like hibernating. I'm not really going anywhere since I'm doing dry January. I'm trying to save money, I'm working out a lot. Like, I don't have any events coming up, I'm just not really, 
I didn't have a reason just to be bleaching and waving and styling my hair for absolutely no reason. So I was just kind of letting it do its thing and I do not like it when it like turned into a little blonde fro. The color starts to get a little funky, all that kind of stuff. So I didn't like it. So I was like, well, okay, maybe I'll just cut it low. Like maybe I'll just cut it instead. I don't know. I've kind of always wanted to see what it looked like with my head shave. I've always loved like a like wick. Uh, what was the girl's name on the first season of, what was the first season of America's Top Model? America's Next Top Model. Anyways, I've always loved that. And I always feel like that is, they're so fearless and beautiful and it's always giving face. So I kind of was just like, why not? Like my hair was literally an inch long anyway. So why not? Um, and I started cutting it and I just kept cutting it. So the main reason is kind of like, why not? I want to see what it looks like. And then some secondary reasons. Sorry, I have to get these grapes clean. Secondary reasons would be, um, you know, new year, new me. I do take that very seriously. Hair has energy and weight and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of just wanted to start with fresh hair, like completely brand new hair. I ate bad during the holidays. I did, I ate admittedly bad during the holidays. Um, and this is gonna sound very, ugh, this apple's like brown. This is gonna sound very like oats and berries, but um, I ate bad and that like comes out in your skin, that comes out in your hair, that comes out in everything. So I wanted to have hair that was made from good healthy things. Like I'm eating well, I'm working out, like I wanted to have hair that was made from that, if that makes sense. Um, so there's that, and also apparently the blonde bald girls like do this like twice or a couple times a year just because your hair gets damaged, you just kinda need to give your scalp a break, start fresh, like you don't wanna overdo it on your hair. So quite a few reasons. And like I said, a big one is just kinda like, kinda cause I can. Um, I feel like it's a little bit, you know, of a flex to be able to wear your hair completely straight. Like I have wigs and stuff and people are like, you cut it when it's cold or you gonna wear a wig. I, a, I have hats, literally I wear hats all the time anyway. I also have wigs, but I honestly, I don't even feel any interest in tussling with wigs. Like there's so much work. And I think about like going out and stuff when I go out. I don't know, when I put on wigs now, it just feels very, and this is no shade to anybody who wears longer hair or wears wigs, it just feels more pedestrian to me. It doesn't feel as striking, it doesn't feel as bold, it doesn't feel as like, like, wow, you're wearing, you have no hair? Like, I don't know, something just feels empowering about it, and I just kinda wanna go with it. I literally texted my mom and was like, hey, I'm not having a nervous breakdown. I just wanted to see what my head looked like shaved. And this was the perfect time because I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have a man. I don't have a job that's expecting me to walk in looking like Oprah tomorrow. So let's just do it. All in all though, I am going to bleach it. I am going to bleach it, um, I don't know, eventually. So because I still like the, I still love the blonde. So I'm still gonna bleach it, but I just give my scalp some time to do what I want to do and I'm kind of loving, I can't lie. Like I was shocked when I first cut it. I was shocked at how pretty I felt. Like just, I felt like, wow, girl, what a face. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'm gonna finish putting up these, uh, <sighs> these groceries and make my little pizza. I've got to like repot some plants and stuff, but next time I see y'all will probably be for my facial. I'm so mad that I couldn't go to the gym today because I have a new gym and I'm really excited about the new gym and I really wanted y'all to see my new gym because it's so cute.
can hear or see this monsoon that's happening outside. But I'm on the way to get a facial. I'm actually here to get a facial. Um, I love these kind of weeks because I'll be getting a facial. I get my nails done tomorrow. I'll be bleaching my hair. So it's like a transformation week. Um, so I'm excited. Here's the before. I talked to her about like my hyperpigmentation, some texture, some congestion, just better all overall skin is what my goal is. I know I won't be able to like film the whole thing because of course I'll be getting my facial done, but I did just want to show y'all before. Hopefully I love it. Hopefully I love her. Um, like I said, I'll put any details or anything in the description box, but let's try to get out this rain and get a facial. I was hoping it died down a little bit before I had to run in here, but it's not giving that. It's like a full-blown hurricane outside right now. It's very, I, can't, I hope I'm at the right place. I can't really tell, I'll be honest. to film while you're getting a facial you guys saw me at the very end we ended up doing microdermabrasion um sorry i'm like super close she said that i have a lot of congestion in my skin and i had a lot of like blackheads and stuff like that and i do have hyperpigmentation issues scar issues um but my glow is great right now she actually recommended me some products and I'm going to be like making an account so I can get like some esthetician kind of serums and stuff like that, but super duper educational. I've had some facials where, you know, it's very spa-like and relaxing and they just kind of do the things and you get up and you look great. She literally talked through every single step, every single product, comfort level. It was great. I feel like I just came from class. Like I just learned a lot. So I'm excited. Um, my skin is never as bad as I think it is when I go to get any kind of service. I'm always like, I have horrible acne and hyperpigmentation. And they're like, girl, it's not that bad. Um, but I'm excited. So, of course, I have some inflammation and like, you know, we did extraction. So, some stuff is irritated right now. But overall, very pleased with it. So, next I can get these nails. I broke one yesterday to get these nails fixed. But, yeah, that was a really relaxing even though I was listening and stuff, it was so very relaxing. So that was nice. You know I only say I'm some truly genuine. Don't be a hard rock when you really are a gym, baby girl. Respect is just the minimum. When you still defending on now. Orange is only human. Don't think I haven't been through the same thing a man. Let us sit and And we are here in the mountains. Literally just pulled up the exact same time as my parents. I got Taffy with me. I got a car full. My parents have us in the mountain. When I say winding road, I'm talking about we probably not leaving this house for a couple days. We are in the mountain, but I want to do a little house tour. I haven't even been in the house, literally just parked. So let's see. Here's the floor I'll be on. We got the arcade games, pool table. Say hey, Ma. Huh? Say hey. Hi. <laughs> little living room. Oh, yeah, I can come do my yoga out here. We got the porch swings. Okay, yeah, I'll be down here. Laundry room. It's like Bad Girls Club. You gotta run and claim your room. Y'all, this would be sofa sleeper. Yeah, so this is my room. Cute. <laughs> Got my own bathroom. Let's turn the rest of the house, Taffy. Of course. <laughs> Taffy just rolled down the stairs, so I don't know what happened with that. Oh, well, it says man cave. Oh, look at her. She, girl, this she has been terrific. The um. The host. Well, Test good. Stuff. She did it so we could check in at noon if we wanted to. Good. She said, whatever temperature y'all want. We can I set it. it. I said, well, I like it cool, but my my girls, they, they cold nature. Oh, no, I got all my warm stuff. So, 70 would be okay. And I see. Here's the kitchen. She got 70 downstairs and the 60. The living here. room. Say, hey, daddy. Hello, hello. <laughs> you gotta go see daddy. I'll say we got the grill. Okay. He's like, I'll get there. This is my parents' room. Oh, yeah? Oh, we are all, well, I'm gonna say we are up in the mountain. Well, Good view. Well, really ain't that far. See, I came a different direction because the family dollar I passed was far. 
I came a different direction than y'all though, I guess, because I didn't see another family dollar. Oh, well, all right. Ooh, this is nice up here. Model bathtubs up here. Yeah, I know. I figured your daddy can't mess with all these stairs. Okay, we got the hot tub up here. Okay, I'm gonna be up here. I brought my bathing suit. Yeah. See, I'm not getting on this ladder to go to this loft. And see, I figured they, they need more room with blue with the two dogs. Yeah. Oh, and then that up there's a loft. There's two beds up there. I'm not going up that ladder. Big tub. I'm jealous. Yeah, this is the only one with a tub. Oh, that's the jacuzzi tub. I know. So if that, and they got the hot tub. If they want a jacuzzi tub, well, because you got the bigger view up here. I know. Very nice. It has to be raining today. You see, Daddy's already going to the TV. Oh. All right, that's the, the house tour. Are, all the TVs are smart. Let me get my stuff out of the car. I want to see a Good, so they can work. Ma, do not get on that ladder. That's mighty. Ma, don't get on that ladder, please. It's, it's got flat. I want to see. You already got. Why you got a boot on your foot? Cause I jammed my toe. Oh Lord, you just about I to prove my point of you being clumsy. I stepped on the bottle, on a water bottle, on getting off the RV because it was on the step, and. My foot slipped before the door was completely open, so it jammed in the toe. Jesus. Yeah, I don't know who's going up there. I thought Blue might have, but. Oh, so, uh, I tried. I'm trying to get into the hot tub. I've got my little snow bunny look together. It is so windy up here. Let me see. Look how it's blown. The hot tub top. So I might just have to wait till tomorrow because I just think it's just too windy today. Yeah, I think it's just too windy today. <laughs> I just put it back here. I'm about to put it back. Hold this. Oh, I was gonna turn the chair over. It's recording. Such. Oh, sorry. Oh Lord. Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment. No sky walking on these haters. Celebrate every day. Like the birds, good day comes to those that wait up. <laughs> oh Lord, I jinxed myself. I said, no way I'm gonna miss that. I jinxed myself. Um. Gang's all here. Ashley, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> say hi, Tater. Are you gonna say hi to the vlog? Hi, The vlog. That's my camera. Stash is here. The bear? We haven't seen Pixie all day. We're getting ready for the dance battle. Tater, are you ready for the dance battle? Uh oh. Is it my turn to Yes, it is. Oh, Ma, you ready for the dance battle? Yeah, I got the green. <laughs> what? The dance battle. The dance battle. Y'all aren't ready. You suckers got served. That's a bad thing to rally bite. That's not like I don't know. Yeah, let me record that. Oh, Tetris. You found it? Yep. To number 280. <laughs> 280? Yeah. yeah. That's like 400 games. Well. You gotta go backwards. So you scroll to 280. <laughs> it's Tetris with an R backwards. What? It's churches. Smiling on my haters. My 23's having a Jordan moment Wildin' with the people Ice all on my chain I'm a I just got two of you staying up Hanging with the gang, that shit dangerous I can fuck you with my chains Them shit dangerous Come and catch your way Cooking breakfast, here's all the stuff I can't have <laughs> My vegan meat is in the oven. Looking like real meat? This is my first time using this from Trader Joe's, so oh, we're gonna see. see that. Yeah, you can, it's good lighting. Oh. 
And then I need my mind was I was gone. Kathy had her breakfast. A lot less windy today. Might be able to actually get in the hot tub and on the swings. Huh, who not? We finally made it out the house. We're just doing a random store run because we're bored. Gotta get out, get some ice cream, some snacks. And then we're back in here. I'm not driving on these roads, so. It's very much a R and R relaxed trip. Not a lot of itinerary like I usually. Have. We got the men in the kitchen. My mama can't help but um, I I need Mike stand for a over. Second, but I know he over there. Um, Mr. Priester, what are you what are you cooking? Uh, so we had some some members mark uh, fried <laughs> some members mark fried rice, chicken fried rice. It's delicious. It is delicious, and we had some members mark. Uh, um, it's like copycat chicken Chick Fil A. Yeah, copycat Chick Fil A nuggets. But Blue says she wanted Chinese chicken. So I just Period. Put sauce on them, and then like that's actually very smart. Let me just mix it up so she won't know. Doctor Darby, uh, what are you over here preparing? I am doing a Mexican chili. Mexican chili? Mexican chili with kidney beans. Okay. Double kidneys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not too spicy, so Blue got to eat it. I love this vlog voice. I am. Uh... <laughs> and then I had my fried fish. Oh, oh snapper with the, the head hands? on. Yes. Oh my god. Look I did it with my suya seasoning and some tomato and onion because oh. I'm Nigerian. But eyeballs. That's good protein. Thank you, see? I don't care. That's good protein in the fish head. Right. It's our last afternoon in Tennessee. We have to leave a day early because allegedly it's gonna snow tomorrow. And the people don't want to get snowed in. So <laughs> So we're getting on the road today. So I will just spend MLK Day tomorrow in the house. I'm not leaving my home. I'm not even going to tell anybody I came back today. Did you have a good trip in Tennessee, Blue? Yeah. Are you telling the vlog? Are you telling the camera, the people in the camera? Okay. Where's the vlog in your camera? This is it. This is the vlog. The vlog? Vlog with a V. The, the log with the with and the mountain. Yeah, this is when I say, hey y'all. We gotta work on your intro, your YouTube intro. How are you gonna start your video off? I don't know. You gotta I say, can't. hey guys. I can't tell you. It's, just, it's a secret. Hey guys, it's me, Darby Blue Priester. But yeah, we're gonna head home. You gonna tell them bye? Are you gonna do the outro? You gonna say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. You're not even looking at the camera. You gotta say thanks for watching. That, that's that's why I'm pulling my string off. Okay, we're gonna work on it. I'm busy oh, I can't even do a peace sign. I got on mittens. Thanks for watching. Hey.